ending. So just go ahead and make a variable called result and set it equal to my SQL underscore query. Now is the query, let me set everything up. What we want to do is select, and it really doesn't matter what we select, but I'm just going to go ahead and select item number because we're we really only are worried about how many rows this query returns so we can really uh, return any piece of data it doesn't really matter same number of rows whatever from items available where owner ID is equal to and that is where user is so if I was user 11 it would say where owner owner ID is equal to 11 which would give me all of my items available now it returns all of my items available but I don't want the items that are available for trading yet I only want the items that are pending review so now we add that clause and the status of the item equals pending so again in your items available table you can have several different items with different statuses one of them can be you know trade completed one of them could be pending review one of them could be active when it's you know ready to trade and people can offer it but now I only want to return pending so that's why I'm doing that so now what is the goal of this function well what we want to do is return a number that can basically go right after this so of course if I had one item pending then I would want to return the number one between uh, parentheses if I had zero items pending for example I have zero active items right now so we don't want to return anything so keep that in mind we don't want to return a zero in between parentheses we don't want to return anything at all so the only time we want to return these parentheses is if you have a number greater than zero remember that so we'll write that in if statement if my SQL in in order to get the number of rows put num rows and well you guys are gonna see what's going on in a second so what it's gonna do is it's gonna get did I copy that the number of rows that this result returns now if it's equal to zero then that means you have no items pending so we don't want it to say anything else however for this function to be complete it needs to return something so what we're going to do is we're going to return a string either way in this case just go ahead and return an empty string like that so then your function you know says okay I returned something so I'm not going to give you an error message but it returns nothing so that's what it's going to display else now hopefully I don't know I don't want to say hopefully but if we have some items pending such as three items what we want to do is we want to return those two parentheses with the number three in between it so go ahead and write return except in this case go ahead and write double quotation marks now the first thing we want to do is we want to turn return those parentheses so go ahead and put an opening parenthesis right here and the closing parenthesis right here now in between these two parentheses we want to append a string aka the number so of course whenever you're joining things in strings in PHP use the little dots which pretty much means of course like I just said append to a string now what do we want to append well we want to append the number of rows it returned oh look how convenient this is right here we already got that baby right there so return however many number of rows right there now of course this can't be zero because if it was zero it would have returned nothing so the only time you're returning a number in between parentheses is if you have a number one or greater so this is basically the same exact code that we're going to use to calculate active items um, completed trades so for example if we wanted to um, calculate active items we would say okay select item number from items available where owner ID equals user and status equals active so that's how easy it is to pretty much calculate the statistics for anything just go ahead and write the table name right here in your criteria after your where clause and again like I said 
go ahead and save this and even though I'm not gonna walk you guys through the rest of the functions that's basically how you do it so I'm gonna give you guys like 10 other functions if you guys don't understand then just leave me a comment in the forum so anyways thank you guys for watching and we're gonna subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video